What's going on? It's Roger. Uh, just a quick update on uh, what I've been planning to do with my career. I've been working the last couple of years since I graduated from my CVT program in Children's Hospital, Oakland. And there we have a group of cardiologists with their own specialties. And one of them is uh, an EP doctor or cardiac electrophysiology. And he does a lot of ablations and and diagnostic studies and he also has a pacemaker clinic so i talked to him about um learning ep and he he said he was willing to be my clinical site and teach me whatever i needed to learn so i looked at a couple of programs and obviously on the west coast there's not that many um since i have a two-year degree in cardiovascular science um I got accepted to the British Columbia Institute of Technology and they had a couple of these advanced certificate um, advanced certificates in, in cardiac sciences. So the two that I've been aiming at is uh, cardiac rhythm device technology, which is pacemakers, AICDs, and defibrillators. Um, and cardiac science, uh, electrophys cardiac electrophysiology technology uh, option. And after you finish these courses, of course, with the amount of hours and and whatnot, just like every other program, uh, you can sit for the registries, which is through CCI and the Heart Rhythm Society. Um, two th the the thing about these two classes, the or these two programs is that the first three classes so here's pacemaker technology um, the first class is concepts of pacemakers second is concepts in electrophysiology and the third is pacemaker implant and if I go to electrophysiology it's this the same three core classes which is uh, what, how they started setting it up once they got the EP going. Um, and so, got two of these classes out of the way. I just got done, done with concepts in electrophysiology. That was a, a, a basic intro into, into uh, understanding electrograms and how EP studies go about diagnostic and interventional. Um, in the fall of 2013, I took concepts of pacemakers. Uh, what I did was I went up to uh, BCIT in person and talked to uh, the program coordinators and got special approval to get into the program and you know submitted all my documents and my degrees and whatnot. And so I got in. And since I had my own internship site, um, I was approved for the program. And uh, anyways, the pacemakers was really, really um, technical. I didn't expect it to be very technical like that, but it was. And as you saw in uh, the list of classes, the third class uh, is pacemaker and AICD implant and it gets covered in detail in a couple other the readings but also in this book while I was in the doing the first course we went through a lot of the chapters in this book but not all the chapters and when I got into the second course EP um, we just this was just kind of an intro a basic understanding of what electrograms are and what not and uh, my teacher, who also wrote this book, Paul D. Pervez, uh, great guy, great teacher, knows his stuff, um, I believe is going to be teaching the other classes as well. And throughout Canada, he teaches uh, EP to nurses uh, that want to advance in their uh, careers. Anyway, so in the fall, I'll be taking the third class, uh, Pacemaker and AICD. Uh, implants and of advanced electrophysiology diagnostics and then I'll have one more
class, hopefully in the spring, uh, cardiac electrophysiology mapping. This is a 3D uh, rendering of uh, the heart and conduction pathways and whatnot. And then finally, for both for both programs, you have to put a certain amount of time and hours and interpretations of different kinds of uh, studies, like with EP, it's 800 hours. Um, and of course, with a pacemaker, it's also 625, 625 to 900 hours of a clinical site. So I'm just kind of fortunate that I do have a doctor that does both. And um, I always do patients on these echoes as well. So it's kind of, it's going to be interesting to cross that path between um, learning the invasive diagnostic and and surveillance with pacemakers uh, and if and it's funny because I'm in a pediatric setting so the kids that have pacemakers have it have it for different reasons compared to adults so I'll have to cross the line to, to the adults as well anyways so I have all my registries for for vascular and and uh, and uh, cardiac, except for fetal, and to me those are you know so those are those are my non-invasive registries, and then now I'm going for my invasive registries. Um, also being cross-trained in the cardiac cath lab where I work, it's kind of a hybrid position. Um, the older techs that are there and my manager are both echo and cath lab so it's kind of, kind of fortunate to be in that situation and then after that I will have all my registries that I want as far as like um, functionality uh, there's a couple other registries that I do want and I heard CCI is also thinking about doing a uh, transcranial doppler registry which I'd love to get since I do TCDs for sickle cell kids research. Anyways, I'm babbling on. Um, that's what I've been up to, working on the new registries on top of going to school, uh, learning pacemakers and cardiac electrophysiology, and invasive cardiology as far as uh, technology skills. All right, later.